In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add an event to your Wix website. Now, this is going to be a very quick and easy tutorial. So here's what you need to do. So first go to the website you want to add the event to, and then you need to go to the add app section here on the left hand on the left hand corner of the screen. That will open up the Wix app market. Now, what you can do here is you can then search for an app and you want to then search for events. So then you should see the app called Wix events and tickets. Go ahead and click on that and it will open up this window where you can then add this to your site. You can see it's free to install, so click add to site and then just confirm any 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 pop-ups here. So what that will do is it will add Wix events to your website and it should load up the event window in a second. So adding Wix events. So now if we scroll down, you can see it's added an event here. Now obviously you're going to have to find a place to put this. I'm just going to move this somewhere on my website real quick. Okay, so I've moved my event here, but obviously you can put your event anywhere you want on your website. So now what you need to do is you need to go ahead and go to manage events. And here's where you can customize all of your events. So in the top right hand corner, you should see add event. Now this should be the first thing that opens when you click on customize. So click add, e add event and you can make that a ticketed event or an RSVP event. That's going to be good for like private parties but if you want to sell tickets offer free tickets and stuff like that for workshops classes then ticketed event is going to be perfect for you so select that then give it a name so let's say we are doing i don't know an seo workshop and then obviously i could write a short teaser so learn seo event category i'm going to put marketing in my case and i could also add an event image if i wanted to as well now here's where you will customize the date and time. So it's going to be a single event or you can make it a reoccurring event. But let's just say we have a single event happening on the 24th of August at 7 p.m. And it's going to end two hours later at 9 p.m. It's going to be in a London time zone. We're going to display the time zone and you can scroll down here and add a physical location. So let's just say it's going to be in, I don't know, somewhere in London. Let's just say for the video, we're going to, we're going to hold it on the London Eye. It's then going to add a map of the location here and people can easily see that. Now you can scroll down and you can write a bit about the event if you want to. But what you want to do now is click on create draft and you can see now that the event has been created. Now this is just a draft event. What you need to do now is set up tickets and accept payments and things like that. Now the first thing you want to do, create tickets. Here you can you can write a ticket name. So, so the ticket name for me is going to be SEO workshop. And we're going to scroll down and you can either have a fixed price. You can charge different prices for like children, adults and senior citizens. You can put it as free or pay as you want. I'm going to make it a fixed price and I'm going to make the ticket price 20 pounds. You can also change the currency and you can add discount coupons as well. Um, but you must create your ticket first. So then we can scroll down. We've got the ticket quality. If you've got a venue and you want to only have, let's say, 50 people, Choose a limited, type in how many people you want. Then here you can see um, there is going to be a fee for the ticket. The service fee is 50 cent. You can pass the fee on to the buyer or you can pay the fee. And then scrolling down, you can enter in your ticket policy and the sale period. So this is going to be how long the ticket goes on sale for. But once you're happy with that, you want to then create your ticket. Now what you need to do is go into settings and in settings, you need to configure the settings and add a payment method. So in settings, um, you can scroll down here. And just make sure everything is good down here. This is just like ticket settings. Now, if you go back to overview, there's a couple more steps you need to do. One is add a payment method and two is publish your event. So add payment method. Then you can add either Stripe or PayPal. So I'm going to connect PayPal. And you can see the transaction fees here with PayPal. You can go ahead and enter in your account here and connect it with PayPal. And then once it's connected here, what you can do, you can go ahead and go back. Close out of this, go to manage event, go into your drafts here, and then you can just simply go ahead and publish this as long as you've done all of the steps. You can now see that the workshop has been published. Now we'll close out of this. And here you can see your event. Now, obviously, if you have an image there, it will show your image. Now people can buy tickets and the payment will then go to the payment method you linked. Let me just publish and, and preview this. Okay, so let's scroll down here. We can see our SEO workshop. We can now buy tickets. And that will take us to the billing page where we can then add a ticket to the cart. And there you go. So that's how you can create an event on Wix. I hope that video helps you out.